If there wasn't any innovation beyond consumer market, there wouldn't be any need for 5G system. 4G is a very good system and provides mobile broadband. We are facing some capacity issues, which it can be easily built into 4G to address the capacity crunch for mobile broadband. So that's 4G can do. I always say 5G is a special generation because it is beyond consumer market and it's more than just mobile broadband communication. It opens up new opportunities to address different so-called vertical industries or adjacent industries and that is the new innovation and the new business opportunity. So very simply is a new money for the operators and that's the area that makes 5G different and is special compared to previous generation systems. I normally refer it as special generation system and that aspect beyond mobile broadband is automation. And that aspect of communication plus automation makes 5G a special generation system. Software-defined networking and network virtualization, it is not a bad customer experience. It is effectively mainly reducing the CAPEX and OPEX part of the network. All right. So that is the main driver for telcos, fix and mobile adopting software-based or agile or programmable type of network architecture. And that is to separate the software from the underlying hardware system. So software can be upgraded much quicker, new services can be provided much quicker uh, compared to the hard-based network architecture. So that is the basic... Uh, of and the base, most important principle of reducing the OPEX and CAPEX cost and help the upgradeability of the network in much quicker and agile uh, manner. So that's what SDN and NFB will do for telcos. The huge amount of research has been going on worldwide. A standardization has been going on on the 5G. So I guess uh, I predict that 2018 will be more of trials of different technologies and different applications uh, on the radio side, on SDN, NFV, network slicing, as well as end-to-end -end part uh, aspects of the 5G. Here's going to be national, local, and international demonstration of the 5G technology in order to understand the performance it gives, the capacity it gives, the reliability it provides, and more importantly, how much we can guarantee low latency in mission critical applications. So this is a part of the demonstration that we will find out and we will learn lessons from the demonstration that will carry on, will happen in 2018.